Welcome back to the shed. In today's episode, we're going to use modern technology to recreate the uh, rear end of the seat. This chrome rear end came with the seat and it's really nice, but I kind of want it uh, in the same color as the rest of the bike, so yellow, because I think the chrome is a bit too much. Uh, but I don't want to ruin this perfectly good chrome rear end. So we're going to use modern technology to recreate a new one. This is version one. I've uh, 3D printed this. So I've put the original one in the scanner uh, on three sides and tried to remodel one. This one is a bit wrong. I've uh, took, I took the curve of the, the first part and then just uh, rounded it off just rounded it off so it's a bit on the short side as you can see it's a bit too short it doesn't really follow the lines of the rear uh, fender so i've just finished 3d printing version 2 which should be a bit closer these are the parts for version 2 I had to print them in three parts because my 3D printer is not that big. So if I hold them together, as you can see, this is uh, much closer to the original shape. I think the curve is a bit on the low side. Maybe it should, be, should have been a bit more up here. But that is the benefit of 3D printing. I can make 100 versions of this. So what we're going to do... We're going to fire up the hot glue gun and uh, fit these pieces together. And I ran out of yellow filament for the 3D printer, so I've got uh, a can of yellow spray paint just for a general idea. If I'm happy with the design, I will be sending the part off to the painter and uh, have them color matched to the rest of the bike. There you have it, it's still blue. Let's put it next to the original one, just to have a look. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. This uh, curve should be a bit up higher, but let's see if I like the look of it. There we go. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not quite sure if I like it. Let's uh, paint it yellow and we'll go from there. First coat is on. Let's just... Uh, Wait half an hour and put another coat on. So we have a couple of coats of paint. It's far from the correct color right now because of the blue. It turns out a bit green but it's just for reference the, the yellow has more contrast with the black seat so it it pops out more in comparison with the blue let's just mount this up let's see what it looks like hmm Not quite sure. Maybe if I cut it here, right at the corner, just so it ends up straight, straight piece. And I'm not quite sure. I'm going to look at it but for a couple of minutes and decide what I'm going to do from there. I've 
taped off where the curve stops or starts, wherever you want to look at it, just to have a look how it looks when we cut the piece off there. And I think I like this look a bit better. It uh, makes the rear end a bit sharper and I think it looks a bit slimmer. Gives it a bit more aggressive look. So I think I'm going to cut the part I have here because this is a 12 hour print. So uh, I think I'm going to cut it and smooth everything out and probably start sanding and painting this piece. Yeah, I think I definitely like this piece a bit more. But let me know in the comments what you think, if you like the original look or if you like the more aggressive look. Uh, I will be able to reproduce these. So if you are looking for one, hit me up. Maybe we can uh, work something out. Both, uh, or actually maybe all of the three models. Version 1, version 2 with the downwards piece. Or version 3 with uh, the sharp angle. So if you need anything, definitely let me know. Yeah, I definitely like this look a lot better. It's a bit more aggressive. I like it. The only thing I will have to fix is... Uh, I think the printed part is a bit bigger than the opening in the seat. And I'm having a small gap here. Oh. So this side is fine. But I think I'm going to re-hot glue this side. Or maybe try with the soldering iron try to fill up this gap with some uh, filament leftover filament so i've fixed the corner up here it's still a bit ugly but that will get smoothened out so what i basically did is i took some copper wire so i've made some tiny s's just like that and then you just heat them with the soldering iron and then you just uh, push them in the plastic and uh, the plastic wraps around the S and then these two pieces are now firmly together. It still looks a bit rough because of the melting, but uh, nothing some bondo and some sanding can't fix. So let's go on for a couple of hours of sanding and I'll check back with you in a bit. So after reinforcing this side, the other side started opening up and because these are two seams, these will always be the weakest spots of the part. So we ended up reinforcing both sides with the copper wire trick. Came out all right. It will need a lot of smoothing, a lot of sanding. So uh, I guess I will do just that. This will take a while. I won't be filming everything because it's just quite repetitive. So this will be it for this part. I will continue sanding and smoothing this rear end and then I will be taking it to the painter so we can uh, color match this rear end and then this bike will look complete. I already like the look of it now even though it's the wrong color, doesn't really matter. So I'm reshooting my outro because of a dead battery and I didn't notice. So I've already gave it a... Oh, it's not mounted yet. 
So already gave it a coat of white because uh, it's easier to see low and high spots. I've also got some special plastic repair putty to seal up these seams. And so a lot of hours of sanding will be needed. So this will be it for this episode. I will get back to you guys when uh, I have this piece back, but then in the right color. So leave a thumbs up for Flo, our chicken you saw in the middle. And uh, if you want to see more, consider subscribing and see you in the next one. Ciao.